Hi, I'm Mark Mayo. Today we're going to service an Avet JX63 Raptor. The Raptor is a great reel for 50, 60, maybe even 80. Need to start with a Mega Pro screwdriver. Uh, I don't buy these things for any other reason than they're wonderful. This one has a bit. It has a 332nd and also a 764th bit. You have to buy it separately. Usually they come with a whole bunch of bits, but not that one. This one will service an HX or uh, any of the Raptors very well. So first step, unscrew the knurled preset knob. There's a spring that comes with it. Put it down. Move this lever slightly and bring it out. There will be a small ball bearing there and a spring. Try not to lose them. Now it's time to unscrew these two screws that hold on these stops. These stops are plastic and they can easily be hurt, so be a little careful with them. There will also be two spacer washers or standoff washers. Don't lose those. If you turn this over, you're going to see a small crevice or a groove right here. That groove is near free spool. You need to pay attention to that. That's important. So after you take that off, unscrew the three screws. All JX reels, three screws open them up. HX reels, you need three or four rather. So take off these three. The whole side plate will come off. I would take these three screws out now and make sure you don't lose them. Put them all in one place so they're easy to find. Set down the side plate or the handle. Now the first drag plate comes off. There'll be a spring. Pay careful attention now because this order is important and the actual drag washer itself. There's another drag plate on the inside. This is a dual drag system. Here's the two drags. Uh, hidden here, inside of here, hidden somewhere, are a pair of, here they are. These are three little washers. Sometimes there's two. Don't lose those. They go on this side of this, this uh, uh, bearing. Pull out the spool. It's time to clean the inside. Since I clean these after each trip, it takes 10 minutes or so to clean one of these reels. The inside is always clean. Put a couple of drops of oil, rub it around. For those of you guys that like grease, if you paint a bunch of grease in there, be very careful. This rim there is tight. And if you have a lot of grease, it's going to touch the spool and the spool is not going to spin. That's why if you're going to use grease there, use a light amount and make sure you take it off the area that contacts the spool. Alright, so once that's clean, you can go back to the rest of this. Pull this out and what you'll get is a sleeve. There's another bearing here. You can clean the spindle, oil it, You'll notice that I have a, a hold of this end. I don't take any of this off. This bearing can come off. There's another sleeve inside of there, but I keep it as a unit. These Belleville washers are tricky if you get them off and you don't know uh, how, they, how they all work. Here's another bearing. I clean in here. Put this back in. It clicks into place. If you want, you can straighten this out, center that, and now begin building. This sleeve needs to be cleaned. Put it on the spindle. Then there's a small bearing. There's two sides, the sealed side, the open side. On the open side, put two drops of oil, put the open side down. And you're going to put these three washers on it and now it's time to clean this drag plate 
This drag plate has a bearing on it. That bearing is sealed on both sides. If you do need to clean that, you can use a circle hook to pick it off. This has grease inside of it. This is in good shape, so I'm not going to touch it. Put this back on there. Make sure the drag place is, it plate is clean. This is the drag washer itself. Uh, I grease this. It's been greased and wiped off thoroughly, so I go in that camp. Hate me if you wish. Now put the spring on. Now there's another drag plate. You'll notice there's some, some protruding spikes and there's holes here. This bearing is also sealed on both sides. If it ever binds, you can clean it and uh, take it apart, but if it doesn't, you can just put it back. All right. At this point, the body and the spool is done. You can remove the gears. There are two gears, a large pinion and a small pinion. I would put a small amount of grease in the teeth. Don't get crazy. Don't put too much. Same thing on here. Put a small amount of grease. There are two ends to this small pinion gear. The longer end goes in first. There's some little recesses that the gear teeth fit into. And now the protruding end goes down in the bearing, the pinion bearing. All right, it's time to spend some time. This area right here, you want to clean everything. You'll notice this reel doesn't have any corrosion or crud in it because it regularly gets cleaned. Uh, it, yours will too if you clean it regularly, and that's what I'm hoping you will do. Rub some grease around in here. I don't put oil, or I don't put uh, I, I'm, I'm putting oil in there. I don't put grease in because the grease, if you get grease caught in the dog actuating arm, it will stop the dog from working. So I would opt for putting grease around here, oil around here instead of grease. So put this together, hold them, thread this in there, match up the holes, and turn. And you'll hear a clunking sound. That clunking sound is the sound that those teeth have meshed correctly. Line up the holes, put in at least one screw, make sure it looks even around and it's tight, put in the other two, tighten those up. I make them finger tight the first time to make sure they're in place, everything's tight. Once I verify that visually, I go back and give them uh, a firm tightening. Again, tight, but not crazy. Wipe all this off. These two holes, one there, one there, are places where corrosion can happen. A little painting of grease there would be great. Put these two washers on. Center the washers over the holes. Now pick this up. Again, there's this groove at this end. Make sure that groove is in the area you associate with free spool. If you do that, you'll be able to use your reel correctly. Now, tighten these down, but because of this black plastic, it's very sensitive to over tightening. So just get it to where it barely tightens up, but don't be crazy. Right. Clean off the excess grease. Uh, take the drag lever, put it on. You have to bring it forward this way a little bit and then bring it back to free spool. It'll click into place. If you try to push it down at free spool, you'll be disappointed. Hold it down, put the knurled knob, the drag preset knob. When you start to hear some noise, Verify that clicking noise, that that bearing, that little uh, um, uh, ball bearing is correct there. Tighten it up a little bit, a little more tension. Make sure that you're, you, you can't go backwards. It means your dog is functioning. See free spool. Everything's happy. Get some oil. Put the oil in the handle spin it around. You'll notice that handle spins very, very well. If you continually put oil in this region, you won't have to take the whole handle off. 
I will cover that sometime for you to show you what it's like, but when it spins like that, it's not necessary. Flip the reel over, take off the rod clamp nuts, paint a little grease on the threaded rods there. This is a problematic area. Clean all of this, make sure that's in good shape. You want to grease or oil that area fine. It will make sure that it'll work really well when you go to take it off. By the end of a fishing trip, this area of your reel will be corroded and filthy, no matter who you are. It's just the way it is. Once you get it done, the reel's ready to fish.